What's up, Divas? What's up, Debo? So your girl April is back for a Real Talk video. And yes, today I'm using my phone. I swear, I hope that I'm... Listen, let me tell you something. I just got this new iPhone. I finally upgraded, you guys. Let me tell y'all, don't laugh. Please don't laugh. But I was using the iPhone 6 Plus for like forever. My thing is this, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So sometimes when I would vlog outside, I would have to carry that phone with me. But I do have two of the iPhone 6 Plus. One of them that, you know, I would use on a daily basis, like in my phone calls from... The camera quality was really bad. Um, I think something happened to the lens. So I did have another one that my daughter had given me because she got an upgrade to a recent <laughs> um, iPhone. And so I was vlogging with this. And I honestly do have a vlogging camera, but I feel like when I'm in public and I have the vlogging camera uh, out with me, you know, like this, people tend to stare at you more versus while you're on your phone vlogging because they really don't know if you're doing FaceTime or whatever. So I did get a new iPhone, iPhone 12, finally. And honestly, I really didn't want to spend all that money. I was trying to get the XR, but the gigabytes were not available because I needed the highest one. So I ended up getting the 12, and I actually really do like it. It takes amazing quality photos and videos. So, please excuse me if I am looking an opposite way because, you know, you're so used to looking at the screen versus the lens, but I'm going to try to look at the lens. But anyway, you guys, listen, remember last week I was talking about um, how Walmart actually canceled my bicycle order, okay? And I was really, I was really pumped on getting a new a bike in general, not even a new bike, a bike. I haven't had a bike in like, gosh, probably since I was like 11 or 12. And, um, yeah, so I got a bike from Target. I went to Target, and I got me a little cruiser. Nice bike, handlebars, you know. It was $200. Um, I like it. It has the back brakes, like the pedal brakes, so I didn't want anything too, too much, like with gears and all that. I don't really like the brakes up on the handlebars because, remember, I said the last bike that I really owned was, like, 11 or 12. So I'm used to my brakes being on my uh, pedal. So I got the bike, you guys, and um, let me tell y'all, I think it was, like, Thursday. So I go to Target, and I pick up the bike. You know, it's already there. So I, I seen it the day before, but I didn't have my truck with me. I only had my car. So I went back the next day, and I get this bike. I'm, I'm like, super excited about this bike. You know, I'm ready. Nice wide seat for my big old rump shaker. You know what I'm saying? And um, I get it home. So it's, it's, it's like in the evening. It's got to be like about 6 o'clock. And I really wanted to take it for a spin in the evening. Even though it was like 104 or 106 degrees outside, I really wasn't too concerned with that. I was just going to kind of like ride around in the neighborhood. I live in a gated community. So um, I was just going to ride around, but not really around. I was just going to kind of like ride around in my area, my block real quick. So I get on the bike, and mind you, I'm not really feeling the heat like that. So I'm on the bike now. This um, this is me, and you guys picture this in your head, okay? Because if you want a good laugh, trust me, this gets funny. At least I think it does. So I'm on the bike, and first of all, when I tried the bike out in the store, I really couldn't pedal it like I wanted to because, you know, there's, there's not much room in Target to pedal a bike. I just wanted to see how comfortable it was opposed to some of the other cruiser bikes. So anyway, when I get home, you know, first of all, the guy, the gentleman at the store, at Target, he was he was kind enough to raise the handlebars for me. So I got my little handlebars, you know what I'm saying? I'm riding off. And he also lowered the seat to the lowest because, you know, I'm sure I'm not that tall. I'm five, three and a half, five, four, something like that. So anyway, I get on the bike and I'm like three houses down from my house. And all I am in visualizing, visualizing in my head, this is me pedaling, okay, holding on to my cruiser handles, and this is the first thing that pops in my head. Me with the rest of my crew, you guys lined up and we riding our bikes through the neighborhood. You know, like as kids, you know, you see the kids outside or even in the movies, but you know, in, in, in life, in real life, this is how it was for me. You know, when I would go to Pennsylvania every summer to stay with my godparents and visit with my dad, we would be riding through the neighborhood side by side. So this is the first thing that I'm visualizing in my head. And girl, I'm feeling so good. I'm smiling. I'm, I'm really happy about this whole like situation that's going on. Bitch, please, when I get to like about 20 houses down, a bitch knees and legs started giving out. I was the whole scenario, the whole scenery that I was visualizing was gone to me like oh my god I'm ready to turn back around my fucking legs is killing me I was like I don't remember my legs feeling like this is me 
I don't remember my legs feeling like this as I'm riding with my friends. This is this is what I'm thinking in my head. Like I do not remember my legs feeling like this when I'm with my friends back some time ago, a long time ago. Girl, I I get back home like about probably like three four minutes later, and my daughter was like, "You back off real quick." I was like, "Yeah, whew, that was a bitch." She was like, the heat, huh? That's really hot out there. I said, no, not the heat. My legs hurt. My legs are killing me. I had to tell her the story. She started laughing. I'm like, is this, this not what I thought it was going to be like? Like, I don't remember my legs feeling like this. She like, you ain't got the same legs. I'm like, yeah, you, you don't say. Girl, let me tell y'all. I had to go in the garage and figure it out because I kind of figured it. The bike seat was so low that, oh, my God, I had put so much work into pedaling that motherfucking bike, okay? My legs were killing me, bitch, okay? So I raised up the seat and and such, and the guy was so kind, he showed me how to do it. You know, I have my phone out to get my own personal tutorial so I know how to do the handlebars and the damn seat. But let me tell y'all, I raised the seat up, and then the next morning at 6 o'clock, I was out and about in the morning riding my bike. Now, let me tell y'all, I had already had this plan. I, I walk like a mile and a half to two miles a day, okay? Not a day, but, you know, like every other day now because it's mad hot outside. And plus, I, my feet be hurting really bad. I don't know how you say it, but I have plantar feet, whatever you call it. So, I had already figured out this. Girl, when I get to my bike, I'm a, I'm going to ride that like three times around and then I'm going to go home. So this is what I plan. I feel like, okay, if I could walk this once, I'm going to ride it at least like three times before I go home. Bitch, please. I rode that shit one time. All right. That, that shit will, that, that will tire your legs out. So when I got back home the next morning after that bike ride, you know, I really felt it. I was sweating. My face was flush red. I was hot. I walked upstairs to get in the shower. And then I realized one of my customers, she needed her tracking number. I guess my website didn't communicate the tracking number over to her. So before I got in the shower, I decided, let me go downstairs and get this tracking number off the table. So as I'm going downstairs, the first three steps, whoa, I had to brace myself, like really seriously brace myself. My, my legs was like fucking noodles, okay? I had to hold onto the banister and go slow. I didn't go bike riding the next day, but then the day after that and today, I went. So I guess over time it gets much easier, but let me tell y'all something. It ain't like, like, seriously, I, I don't look, seriously, I don't feel when I'm riding out in the morning, I don't, I don't visualize me and my friends back in the days no more riding our bikes. I don't, the only thing I'll be visualizing is, April, get your fat ass and keep pedaling. That's the, and breathe, breathe, bitch, breathe. That's the only thing that I'll be seeing, okay? Oh, and my front door, because I can't wait to get my ass home, okay? So, yes, I, I, I'm enjoying the bike. But, girl, it, that that's a workout. Girl, that's a workout. Mm-hmm. Got me a new wine glass, thanks to my daughter, Nay. It says, uh, it's drink wine and judge people, okay? That's what it says. She got this from me, for me from Sedona. And then also, I want to share this with you guys real quick. I'm loving, like, the really super big lashes now. I'm not really sure why. I think when you really go big, you, you start to going back to the regular ones. It's like, hmm... So these ones that I have on are 22 millimeters. Um, and I thought they were nice, decent size, you know what I'm saying? Please tell me why I was on Amazon and I felt like, oh, I'm gonna get 25. I don't know what I was fucking thinking. I really don't know what I was thinking. But they were super cheap. They was they had such great reviews for the, the weight of them. And the girls that were wearing them looked really nice. So, I mean, I'm gonna try these out. I think these ones were $7.99. Yeah, $7.99 you get seven pairs. This had really good reviews. Hopefully, I'll remember and I'll post it below for you guys, but these are the ones that I got for $7.99. These right here, um, these ones right here were $5.99, which were also really, really nice. Um, okay, so these, I think, were the $5.99 ones, and it was, I think there's like eight pairs. I can't really remember. 
but they all got really nice reviews and they do seem very lightweight. These are 25 millimeters. I think they said 8D and 7D. I don't really know, like 3D, 4D, 5D. Listen, I don't really know, but these might be, they might all be a little bit too big for your girl. But hey, uh, 25 millimeters, 8D. I'm not really sure what 8D means. And the first ones that I showed you were 25 millimeter 4D. Now these are supposed to be 4Ds. I, I, listen, I don't know. And then the last pair that I have is also 25 millimeters. And it doesn't say what the, oh, no, it doesn't say what D it is. Does that sound a little provocative? It doesn't say what D it is. Okay. But they kind of all look similar, I think. You know what I'm saying? These are not as full. So these are probably not like, no, these are probably like 4D, 3D, a big D. Mm. Okay. But yeah, from Amazon, you guys know what I say about Amazon. Amazon Prime, get your shit on time, girl. But other than that, we're going to jump into this real talk. If you have a real talk that you want me to talk about, go ahead and send me an email, you guys, to aprilsrealtalk at gmail.com. Or you can also send it to Muffin Is My Lovers, 2012 at gmail.com. Either way, I will post each one down below. So that way you can reach out to me, put in the subject, real talk. And on that note, let's get to going. All right, you guys. So, hey, Diva. Ready? Because I'm ready. Hey, Diva. I hope all is well. Happy early birthday, sis. So, in case y'all don't know, my birthday is June 19th, the day before Father's Day. I have been following you since New York days when you was rocking in that bathroom and running that wig over with your mini band on your first channel. That video was so uplifting. I sure wish they never had your first channel. I really miss those old videos. This is the first for me ever sending you an email and I really want to hear your input. So I have been with this guy for a stretch, meaning about five years. We was off and on, sometimes due to his toxic behavior, which I am not one to deal with. I finally called it complete quits a few years back because I was over it. Thank goodness we never had kids together, but I do have children with someone prior to him. I am in my early 40s and my children are grown, you know, 21 and 19. So I live my life like it's golden, like it's my own life. So sis, why at the mall a few weeks back, I run into the old ex? I will admit he was looking good and sharp, sis, and looked like he had grown up, you know, grown man vibes. I was shocked to see him. Girl, I noticed him before he noticed me, and I tried to dodge him, like dodge the bullet, by going into another store. And when I came out and walked further into the mall, he then noticed me as I passed a sneaker store, because this man came running out hollering my name. I honestly tried to ignore him, but girl, he ran up on me, literally. We spoke to one another. It had been three years since we last saw one another. I was honestly trying to be mindful. Anyway, he said he wanted to take me out to dinner, and I let him know I would think about it and get back to him. Please tell me why the next day he started calling my phone. We never exchanged numbers because I never changed mine, nor did he. April, this man looks so good, like a whole meal, not a snack. We've been conversing every other day. Sometimes he will text me sweet morning messages and I be really feeling it. Like I want to go out to eat with him, girl. Heck, I ain't gonna lie. I would love for I would love for him to blow my back out because he was always good at that. But honestly, I don't even know if I want to go down that road again. He says he's changed and it seems like it, but all that other toxic shit keeps playing in my head. I'm not in a relationship and haven't been really since we broke up. I've just been trying to do me, focus on myself and family, and then here he comes along in my favorite mall. I don't know what to do. What is your take on this? Please help. You can call me Wanda. Thank you. Okay, girl. Mm. So Wanda girl broke up with dude, uh, was it three years ago? And it was off and on for five years. So she finally called it quits because he's just too toxic. She didn't say what he done did to her. He didn't, she didn't say if he was, um, you know, like, um, abusive, but you can be abusive, not just physically, but mentally too. 
So she didn't say that, but she said he was toxic. And I guess that's enough for a person to just be like, you know what? I'm good. I've, I've had it. And to be on and off, that does seem like toxic because you either going to be together or you're not. Like break up and make up and break up and make up. I get it. Sometimes people do that. But if you do it enough times, that means y'all is no good for one another. So I guess that's when she finally called it off. Now, three years later, she done ran into his ass at the mall. Even though she tried to dodge him, he and came running behind her, literally like running behind her. And she talked about how good he looked, you know, I guess he got the good Z, not the 3D, not the 4D, but the 8D, the big D. I guess he got that girl, you know what I'm saying? And he want to take her out to dinner, you know, they've been conversing, he's been sending her sweet morning messages, et cetera, et cetera. He said he didn't change, but she don't feel like she should go down that road again. Listen, let me tell you something. First of all, Wanda, I appreciate you following me since New York. And, girl, I, I, I too, wish that they never would have hacked my first YouTube channel because I do miss some of those. I miss all those old videos. But, you know, I still have a lot of them. Not a lot of them, but I have enough of them. So if you guys want to see some of my old, earlier days videos, then leave a comment down below, and I'll definitely repost them. But here's the thing. She said she don't want to go down that road again. But he said he done changed, and she wouldn't mind him blowing her back out. Sweetheart, let me tell you something, Wanda. If you don't want to go down that road again, then why the fuck is you going down that road again, okay? If a nigga tell you they changed, that means they really haven't changed. Or maybe they did, but I don't need you to validate your own change for me. Like, I can see that for myself. I will be able to see that for myself. And looks is not always a thing to me. Like, okay, you look like you're on your grown man vibe. That's an outfit. That's a whole outfit. And a whole meal. He's not even a snacky a whole meal. That's great because there's a whole lot of other meals out there that probably are really worthy. My thing is this. Bitch, why did you keep going back to the past? You ain't never going to be able to live in the future. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, seriously, like, I get it. We always go back sometimes. Not always. But sometimes we go back to those that we really do care for that we really do know that that really know us that really can understand us but sometimes you just gotta chill and just like you know what put pump your brakes and be like you know what i can't do this regardless of how you may feel for that person if you keep going back to the past like you a motherfucking time traveler bitches you're never gonna see the future and listen i'll be the first to say yeah i have went back to the past a few times okay i have traveled i'm a time traveler i have went back to the past okay but you know what sometimes we we have to go back to the past just to recollect our thoughts and to gather our thoughts and to get it together like you know what let me let me really go to the future this time it's like back to the future y'all ever watched that movie like listen we're not really time travelers but some things are not always best for you that's great he got some good d and he could blow your back out i'm pretty sure there's a lots of men's out there that can do the same but is it always really about that you know what i'm saying like do you really need to get your black back blown out because sweetheart honey girl if you're in your 40s, I would suggest that you not get your motherfucking back blown out because I know for myself, if I sleep the wrong way, my back is hurting, my sides is hurting, my arm is hurting, okay? And a bitch like me, I have hot flashes, so I, I don't, I don't, you know, see, I don't condone none of that shit. All I want to do is go to sleep and rest these days, which I do, okay? But when you in 40s, honey, you don't want to get your back blown out. Bitch, you need your hips and your back to navigate throughout life. Sweetheart, you want to need that shit for the future. Now, that's great that that snigger done said he done changed, okay? Question. Do you really think a nigga gonna be like, Yeah, baby, what's up? You know what I'm saying? I want to take you out to dinner. And honestly speaking, I'm that same toxic-ass nigga that you knew three years ago and broke up with. You know what I'm saying? But I love you. I love me some you. And, you know, I'm still toxic, boo. Like, do you really think old dude gonna say, like, yeah, I'm still the same person as I was three years ago? Like, who is going to really downplay themselves? Let's just be for real. Like, I'm just saying, like, are you really going to downplay yourself and say, yeah, I'm still toxic. I'm still that asshole that you knew back then. I'm still that asshole that you was with for five years off and on. I'm still that asshole that you broke up with. I might have got some grown man clothes on and I probably look like a whole meal and not a snack this time, but I'm still that motherfucking asshole. Like, I mean, seriously, do you really think that he's going to say that to you? Of course he's going to say he's changed. Don't they all say that? And I'm not just saying they, when I say they all, I don't mean just men. I'm saying women too, okay? We all say we change. You know, I, I don't think anybody's gonna downplay themselves and be like, yeah, I'm still a horrible ass bitch. I'm still a miserable ass bitch. I'm still a hating ass bitch. I'm still a conniving ass bitch. You, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like, um, I really don't think anybody's gonna downplay themselves and tell another person or even themselves that they still the same old miserable ass person they was in fifth grade. Would you? 
So here's my thing. If you don't want to go down that road, then maybe there's something there that's telling you, bitch, don't go down that road. Three years is a nice amount of time for someone to get their life together. But do you really know him? So what? He's trying to fucking send you sweet messages via text message in the morning, however. You can send them shits through smoke message. I don't give two fucks. If I broke up with your ass for a reason, then let's keep it at that reason and we can remain friends. We don't even have to remain friends. We can remain mutuals, okay? Associates, whatever. We could be friends on, on social media and nothing more than that. Like, I'm dead ass serious. Like, on some real shit, y'all gonna keep time traveling back to the past? Because if so, you're never gonna see the future. You gonna keep going back to that raggedy ass man, that raggedy ass woman, over and over because you feel like they know you so well, you know them so well, you know what I'm saying? You love them so much. That's great, I get it. Everybody has someone in their life that they really, really have loved. I get that. If that person was just not that right person for you and their behavior was off, don't you think that you deserve more than that? Like, seriously, sis, don't you think that? Like, you know, it takes, sometimes we make mistakes, and I'll be the first to admit, I have made quite a few mistakes in my life, in my relationships, with my kids' fathers, well, a lot of things, and, you know, not throwing no shade at anybody, because I, this is not even about anybody but me, so whatever, whoever watches this, whatever, you know what I'm saying? I just feel like this. For me, myself, I just need to regroup. I'm not a hating ass bitch if you want it in a relationship. I'm not a hating ass bitch if you fucking. I'm not a hating ass bitch if you got a man. I don't hate ass bitch if you got a dog, a brand new car, brand new house, jewelry, whatever. I don't care about that. What I care about is me, myself, and my family too. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes we just need to chill and regroup. Three years to not be in a relationship is not a really a long time. I have known some people like my mama that haven't been in a relationship for like 25 years. And she is like the most happiest person in the world. She'd be like, please, I don't need no man. They stressful. And, you know, sometimes I'll be just like, you know, something, you are so right. But then there's another part of me that's like, it would be so nice to have a companion. You know what I'm saying? We ain't got to F every night because I don't be into that all the time. Like, I just be wanting to go to sleep and relax. My days be so long, y'all, that I just want to chill. I, I don't want nobody breathing on me. I don't want nobody on top of me. I don't, I don't want all of that. Can you just talk to me and take your ass to sleep? But... You know what I'm saying? Listen, I'm about to be 47, so I don't... You know what I'm saying? Like, some females just gotta have the D all the time. I don't really understand why. Sometimes that shit be overrated. Regardless of how good that shit be, it just be a little bit much. Sometimes it be too hot. I'll be tired, okay? So you, you just gotta chill. But what I'm saying is, you know what I'm saying? You gotta regroup sometimes. You gotta take time for yourself. And like three years is not really a long time. Sometimes it's longer than three years for you to really learn to love yourself and to regroup and to focus and to build yourself up. Get that money back, sis. You know what I'm saying? Graduate get with your kids. Get your kids off to school, graduation, grandkids, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Do, sing, do some things that really make you happy. Fuck a nigga, fuck a man, fuck a bitch. You know what I'm saying? It, it is what it is. If you want to go ahead and let that nigga blow your back out, then listen. That's cool, too. But make sure that you let him know there are really no strings attached to this dude. It, it is a beautiful thing to have someone, your significant other, that loves you. But first, you got to love yourself. And if you don't do that, then you're going to let any Tom, Dick, and Harry or Mary, Sue, and Becky walk into your life. And they're going to walk all over you, take advantage, manipulate you, try to play you, fuck you over, talk shit about you, and all types of shit. And why even bother with that? Like, seriously, I'd rather be by myself than be miserable with anybody. And I'm not just saying that because of any type of past relationships that I've had, but that's just truth and that's what it is. Like, who the fuck want to be miserable with somebody? I'd rather be by myself than be miserable with somebody. Like, how does that, how does that make you feel as a person to be miserable in a relationship? Like, Wanza, girl, if you know you don't want to take that role backwards again, then girl, stop going back to the past. You're not a time traveler, sweetheart. Let's live for the future. And I would like to say let's live for the present day, but that really don't give you too much motivation. So let's just live for the future. Stop going back to the past, because, bitch, if you keep going back to the past, girlfriend, honey, you ain't never going to see the future. Never. And, I mean, it's okay if you want to give an old dog another bone, but is he really bone worthy? Like, I'm just saying. Is that nigga really bone worthy? Man, I try not to be negative towards people. If I don't like the vibe you're giving me, I just don't fucks with you. Point blank, period. And that's just me. If I don't like the vibe you setting me, 
of sending me. I'm not fucking with you. I won't reply to you. I'll block your ass. I won't see you. I won't speak to you. I won't reply. I won't forward. I won't reply. I won't do any of that. You know what I'm saying? That's just me. I just try to be a better person. You know what I mean? And regardless of how much you might have loved that past person, like, you know what a past is, it's a ghost, okay? It's like a ghost, straight up, okay? Ghost that nigga, okay? Because he's a ghost. Sometimes people live in the past, ghosts be in the past, okay? So sometimes those ghosts and those memories, they just memories. That's what the key word is, they memories. You could keep them up here. Don't mean you need to relive them shits, okay? I'm just saying. So on that note, you guys, let Wanda know what you think. I'm gonna go. It's hot. Well, I'm hot. You know, hot flashes, hot flashes. What y'all think of these lashes? These is from Amazon, too. Um, I bought them in this, like, this book thing. They had, like, I think it was, like, five. Five different pair, and they 22 millimeters. Whew, child, I'm hot. Um, but I'm, I'm really excited to try these. And let me tell y'all, listen, I've had these on since yesterday, okay? When I say I've had these on since yesterday, they have not come off. I have not taken them off. No, I did not use no super duper strong glue. I just used the same thing I've been using for a couple months now, the Duo Instant Freeze. I'm telling you, bitches, this will keep your strip lashes on for like four days, okay? And I will sleep with these motherfuckers on too, all right? I love you guys. Stay deep and delicious. Stay deep.